We've all seen players in the club who try to steer the ball in as if using Harry Potter's magic wand at the last moment upon striking the ball. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. The main reason for that is that subconsciously the player knows they're on the wrong line. So the body is trying to help recover the situation by throwing Harry Potter's magic wand at it. For example, the player will get down on the wrong line here, as you can see, and when they play the shot, there's an attempt to correct. It is possible to pot a ball starting with an incorrect aim by applying a correction at the last moment. For example, if we play the same incorrect angle and adjust as we play the shot, you can once in a while recover the situation, but it's a very inconsistent, haphazard way of approaching the game. What we found is that when players settle on the correct line of aim, there's no need to cue badly. The body wants to deliver the cue in a straight line because it knows it's in the correct position. So being in the correct position allows the cue to deliver correctly as well. So in a nutshell then, bad aiming equals bad cue action. Good aiming equals good cue action. So that the difference in height that I played there was probably only two millimetres or so. This is the Snooker Gym Player of the Year for 100 break players. You come to a stop in a controlled way and begin the delivery in a controlled way as well.